Welcome to Word Problem Mania. This is problem three. Another calculus problem. Find two positive real numbers whose sum is 40 and whose product is a maximum. Let's dissect this. So it says two positive real numbers. So let's just call our real numbers A and B. And it says positive. So we know that A and B must be larger than zero. A plus B is equal to 40. Two positive real numbers whose sum is 40. This is the first part of the question. The second part says their product is a maximum. To solve this, let's solve for a in the first equation. a plus b is equal to 40. So a is equal to 40 minus b. We can use this value to substitute into 2. So we have a times b and when we substitute we have 40 minus b times b. And We'll call the possible value, we'll call this a function of b. Simplifying this we have f of b is equal to 40b minus b squared. If we look at this equation, 40b minus b squared, the negative here tells us that this parabola, because of the squared, is concave down or convex. Since this is the case, there's only one point in which the tangent line at that point, the slope of the tangent line is zero. There's only one point in the entire function. Over here we go from a positive slope to a negative slope, so it must be a maximum. But that's fairly obvious from just looking at it. So that's the kind of information we can tell by looking at this function, this f of b. In order to find the point in which m is equal to zero, we want to take find the derivative function take the derivative, because derivative is a rate of change. It'll tell us the slope at any point. So we're going to take the derivative of f of b. So f prime of b is equal to 40 minus 2b. The derivative of 40b is 40, and the derivative of minus b squared is minus 2b. In order to find, now this, this function here tells us the slope at any point b. So the original function looks like this, but this is the function that tells us the slope at any point b. So if we want to find where the slope is zero for the maximum value, then we set it equal to zero and solve for b. Solve for the point in which that slope is zero. Subtract 40 from each side, divide by negative one-half, and you find b is equal to 20. Well, if b is equal to 20, then a is equal to 20. If this was 20, subtract 20 from each side, a is 20. So, the two positive real numbers are a equals 20 and b equals 20. Now I want to highlight that it is easy to tell that there's only one solution to this when you set it equal to zero when you set it equal to zero. There's only one, and that's b is equal to 20. And due to the shape of this parabola going down, it must be a max. I hope you enjoyed watching. There's gonna be a lot more videos coming in the future. See ya.